situation. We have a round pipe here coming out of the screen and we're measuring the pressure at the center of this pipe at point A using this rather complicated manometer. And this manometer has three fluids. It has water, oil with specific gravity given, and mercury with specific gravity given. The goal is to find the pressure in KPA gauge at point A. I'll start at point B because I know the pressure here is zero. I'll add a pressure increase corresponding to this water column. I'll add a pressure increase corresponding to this mercury, so now I'm down at this elevation. Then I go across horizontally and I go across the interface so I now know the pressure here. Then I'm going to subtract the pressure corresponding to this elevation change in the oil. Then I'll go across. I now know the pressure in the oil right here. I'll go across the interface. The pressure is constant. Next I'll add pressure corresponding to this height and I'll get the pressure at A. Let's write the equation. We start at point B. So we say the, oops, so we say the pressure B. Then we're going to add on the pressure corresponding to this water column. So that's gamma water times 0.9 meters. So we have specific weight of water. Now we're going to add on the pressure corresponding to this mercury column. So we have 0.6 meters times the specific weight of mercury. So 0.6 meters. Now we come across here and we're going to subtract the pressure in the oil. So that's minus specific weight of oil. And that elevation change, we went upward by 1.8 meters. So now we're over here. Now we're going to add the pressure increase as we go down in the water corresponding to 1.5 meters. So gamma water times 1.5 meters and that's going to equal the pressure at A. Excellent. There's our goal. The pressure of B is known. It's zero gauge. Spe specific weight of water we can look up. We're given the specific gravity of mercury, so we can multiply that by the specific weight of water. We're given the specific gravity of oil, so we can get this. This we know. One equation, one unknown. Let's solve for the goal. Here's the calculation. So the pressure at A works out to be 89.2 kilopascals gauge. You see the specific weights of each fluid and the elevation changes right here. Notice in the final answer that you always want to specify which type of pressure. So we have 89.2 kPa gauge.